Hey guys, welcome back to Pro Gun. If you're a Glock fan, before Glock invented these, they made these. You may not know that, but Gaston Glock in the 70s produced these knives for the Austrian military. And he used a carbon steel blade with a polymer handle because he realized that for the military, the polymer handle would be very light, yet durable and rugged and strong. And then in the 80s, when he came out with the pistol, he used that same polymer logic and came up with the polymer frame to make a very strong material that's lightweight. And that's how that came about. They make two different models of these knives. One just has the straight blade. One has the blade with the saw on the top. They're available in black, gray, green, and flat earth. So let's take a deeper dive. So this is the Glock FM81 survival knife. It's got a polymer handle and it comes in a plastic sheath. It's got a belt clip on it. And you just use this tab and it opens up. And it's ambidextrous. You can turn the knife around and put it in either way. Another nice thing about it is this little uh, tab here can be used as a bottle opener. It's a very well-made knife. The main difference between this one and the FM78 is that this one has the saw. And the saw blades are very sharp and very well-made. They're very strong. It's got the Glock logo right there if you can see it. And I don't know if you can, you can't see it from here, but it also has Glock stamped on here. And this is made in Austria. It's not made in China. A lot of people complain that the blade was very dull when they got it. I did not find that. My blade is actually fairly sharp. And the quality of this for the money, in, it's very hard to beat. And you can get this for under 35 bucks. And with the Glock quality you would expect, it is here in this knife. I like the fact that the sheath has a nice snap to it. It's very easy to remove. It cuts very well here. And the saw works very well. I mean, this is really sharp. And the teeth on it are very thick. It's made out of carbon steel. This will last a long time. It's also got coating on it so it doesn't rust. Because of the polymer grip though it is very light and it was designed for the military to be light so with that being said it's not really a great knife for doing any chopping only because of the weight but that's not what it was intended to do also if you look at the back if you pop off that plug there's a lug inside here and that lug is designed to attach to a rifle so that you can use this as a bayonet. Um, like I said, for the money, for a $30, $35 knife, um, this is really great quality. And it's a Glock, right? So you would expect the quality to be there. And just like their firearms, they're made in Austria. So if you're looking for a survival knife to just keep in a backpack or whatever, it's even great for hunting. Uh, it's a good quality knife for that money. Um, you know, there's a lot of knives out there that cost a lot more that aren't really that much better than this. So I think this is an extremely good value. Thanks for watching.